Hello everybody, welcome back. Carl again. Today I want to talk about, uh, just quickly, this Raspberry Pi Zero. And as you can see, it's pretty tiny. Size comparison, this is a Raspberry Pi. You can see it's about half of the size. Now there's just a quick note. These are $5. I got mine at Adafruit. And it comes just like this. And one thing I didn't realize is that you have to kind of buy some accessories to get this going. So the first thing you'll need is a mini HDMI to full size HDMI if you're going to use it like a regular Raspberry Pi. Now luckily, as I was buying this, I noticed on the page for Adafruit that it recommended this as a purchase. However, what I didn't realize is that it has two micro USB ports, one for power, which is your standard Android cell phone charger, and then one for USB on the go. So that means you're going to need one of these cables, and this is micro USB to regular USB so that you can run a USB hub so that you can have a keyboard and a mouse, which is the final point, you're going to need a USB hub. Now they're pretty inexpensive, I have one here, and this just has two USB ports, this actually happens to have some cards in it, but again, these are about $5. So all in all, your $5 Raspberry Pi Zero isn't actually $5. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi, you're going to need a $3 adapter, and then you're going to need to make one of these, which as you can see looks terrible. Or what I ended up doing was going on eBay and just buying one of these for $3. Now Adafruit does sell a USB on the go adapter, and it's only 3 bucks. And had I known I needed it, I would have bought that from Adafruit and saved myself the aggravation. So, if you're thinking about buying a Raspberry Pi Zero, make sure that you have all the required parts, including a micro SD card. I think it recommends 4 gigabytes or bigger. Nowadays, there's no reason why you shouldn't just buy an 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte so you have plenty of storage space. So, I'm kind of excited to see what projects I can get into with the Raspberry Pi. The only reason why I bought it was, well, it's $5. It has the standard pinout. And then also has RCA pinout over here you can solder a wire to. Now, if you're actually looking to use a project for this, remember this is only a this is the original chip they put on the first Raspberry Pi. It's just overclocked, so it's actually one gigahertz. It has, I believe it's 512 megabytes of uh, RAM. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something a little more powerful, you might just think about getting the Raspberry Pi A Plus. That's $20. It has a little bit less memory, it's only 256 instead of the 512, but it has the same processor. You get a full-size HDMI, a full-size USB, and then you also get the audio and RCA out on a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. So that's just something to think about. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Remember, hit that like button down below.